Hey guys, Sarah here from The Glitter Guy, and today we are going to make a pretty cool cauldron. First of all, I saw this briefly on Instagram and thought, how cute does that look? And I will link that Instagram reel down below for you guys. So I kind of took it and ran with it. So this is a cauldron that has been sitting in our office closet for like two years now fold with crap and I took it outside, painted it white first and then painted it teal. So we're gonna try to paint this cauldron another color. I wanna do it like a teal, so I'm gonna paint it white first and hope it comes out good. I'm gonna let that sit for like 10 minutes and maybe do one more coat of white and then try to do a coat of teal. See what it looks like. Last my spray paint too, so here we go. I'm gonna let this dry really good. So I'm going to now paint it teal. I'm using Mermaid from Color Shot. One thing I do love about Color Shot is it dries very fast. So I'm gonna go get a slice of pizza and come back and finish this. I forgot to do the rim. The rim is not based out white or teal. We can fix this guys. We'll flip her over and uh, get that rim done. We're gonna let this dry. Here we are. So I wanted to fill the middle in with something so that we could put these little bubbles on the top. So I got my air bags. I thought these would work pretty perfect, so let's see. Now for the bubbles. By bubbles, I absolutely mean disco balls. I will not at all during this video pretend to take full credit for this idea. It all came from can't sleep in our on Instagram reels. These actually look pretty cool. They're not totally, the top's a little weird, but the sides look perfect. So I got this double-sided sticky tape. I'm gonna cut myself some squares. I have no idea about placement on this thing. I just want them to look like bubbles. I wonder if I stick it to it because this is kind of hard to peel it back. So basically, I'm just gonna take all of these little disco balls and kind of place them around to where I think they look like cauldron bubbles. All right, get in there, little disco ball. Yes, cool. Pivot. Bubbling. Yeah, it's looking like little cauldron bubbles. I might have to go get super blue. Yep. Yeah, I think that these are just gonna keep falling off. Plot twist, guys. We're gonna find something else that's stickier than this banner material. Let's see how UV resin does. I can't even believe I didn't think about using UV resin in the first place. It's a, it was running, but obviously if I do them in shorter increments, like two at a time, because it, it stopped the drip. No one look into your light. Look at that, this is working. And it dries clear, this is great. <laughs> They're not moving. This is a great idea. Disco, disco, disco. It's uh, when I have to do it, and it drips, it just seems to be dripping around the ball anyway, and then you put the light on it super quick, and it catches the drip, and it's just tightening it even more around. Of course, we'll see if it completely works the way that I, it looks like it's working when it's done, but I mean, so far, they're, they're not moving. push these disco balls in there to make the end one not look so bad. It's only a matter of time before uh, my daughter picks all of these disco balls off one by one anyway. 
This came out really good. So, I think I love the way it came out. I think it looks so cool. So, this was super easy. Again, I will link the actual reel that I got this idea from uh, down below so you guys can see it. But honestly, for very little direction and not really knowing what I was doing. This set came with four different sizes. So it was a really easy to fill in all the little gaps because I didn't have to rely on the same size ball. The balls came from Amazon. Pretty sure I paid like 20 something dollars for the whole thing. Resin was from the glitter guy. The light is also on Amazon. You can find the light on my link tree on my Amazon store. I'm gonna see if I can get these disco balls on there too. If not, super easy to find on Amazon. The cauldron I had, but these are super easy to find also. I painted it with uh, spray paint, Rust Oleum White for the base, color shot mermaid for the teal. In the reel, she took stuffing and put it in the center. I forgot to look at that because I knew I had some at home. However, I had air pillows here that work just as good. I am a little bit nervous about later on in life when they deflate. However, who knows if this will last that long because I'm talking over a year at that point. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. And if you did, definitely like and subscribe to our channel so you can see all the cool things that we put out. Drop me some comments. And if you guys make this yourself, I'd love to see how yours came out. Definitely post it in our Facebook group and tag us. And I hope you guys have a lot of fun. Bye.